was really interesting. I got I thought when we were gonna when we went into that thing that we would find lots of uniformity <clears throat> about what airports do in terms of uh, uh, comm centers or control centers or the various names that they that they go by. Um, what we found was not that was that every airport is responding to a slightly uh, different and unique set of circumstances so they do parts and pieces of kind of what we consider a comprehensive uh, approach to control centers. Some will be focused particularly on CONOPS or you know kind of how the processes ought to work and how they ought to improve, uh, improve the way they work together and respond to incidents. Others are more focused on upgrading their technology and some of them are more interested in where the building goes and kind of the bricks and mortar aspects and how you design a facility for the, for the maximum performance. So we, we saw a lots of different models out there in lots of different situations. And, and we had, from that, we kind of had to kind of synthesize, you know, what is the, what are, what are the, the, the ways to approach that most, of, most effectively, given that everybody's starting at a different point. Uh, airport operators, uh, but but that's a broad a broad term. Um, and airport operators can be mean people who are in ops or in um, public safety and security um, or in planning and engineering, who all impact the development of, of a facility. But it it also applies to the AEC, you know, architecture, engineering, and, and consulting community as well who uh, get engaged uh, in one aspect or another of developing. So it should be helpful to them to, to kind of learn what we learned as part of the research process, what some of the, the, some of the small, medium, and large hub airports are doing and what's, what's been effective for them. Um, other than read it. <laughs> <laughs> or in addition to reading it, um, I, I would start at the front. We have sort of an executive summary there that kind of outlines the uh, the book itself, and there are probably eight or ten chapters uh, that that have different um, aspects of, of a comm center and guidance for that. And <clears throat> I would I would start by kind of just reviewing that, kind of not necessarily deep deep reading and see where you are on that spectrum in terms of where the, sometimes airports are constrained, they don't need to, to think about certain aspects. So you can kind of skip that part of it. And if you just would need to work on the facility parts of that, skip to that or the technology parts of it, or you are really interested in doing something that kind of um, a little bigger and bolder than the normal, then, you know, the CONOPS part of that or the, uh, the planning parts of this, which are really, uh, important and then if you don't you know kind of have any place to start on some of the policies and procedures we have a bunch of templates that are in the back of this that um, it may be a useful starting but sometimes it's just not sometimes the the inertia is just you know what what forms do I use or what templates do I use to get certain things started so we have a bunch of those in the, in the back too us to the, sort of the key takeaways from this and they emphasized a very robust planning process involving all the different areas that impact the comp center um, so they would actually spend more time on the front end kind of getting the management team together organizing the project getting the key stakeholders on board uh, before starting to execute a detailed design and digging the dirt or breaking down the walls or putting in the systems and, and so on. They, they, they were kind of painstaking, um, almost OCD, about, about getting people together and on a common uh, understanding of the objectives of the facility before they started doing things. I hope it'll be useful and fun for people, not to to engage we've had several we've had several people that want that are that are in the process of developing and, do, and they kind of 
want to, to read it, kind of hear what's going on in, in the, the industry and get some guidance on how to, how to start, how to proceed, that's, I'm honored that with that. And that's what I wanted to, to, uh, to do is to help some of the airports. And there's a lot of, um, a lot of activity. Industry is uh, very active right now. Airports are growing and developing. Not only are there the, the, the usual security and response concerns as events, but there's a lot of emphasis in our business on the customer experience and the guest experience. And um, there are people who are starting to view these centers not strictly as security and operations, but also as part of the part of the uh, the customer experience that people have at the airport. So I think that's kind of exciting. I hope people will use this to.